Today, we're going to explore how to build an HTTP proxy server in Python. A proxy server can help mask your identity, bypass regional restrictions, and improve performance. Let's dive in and see how you can easily implement a proxy server in Python. What is a Python proxy server? A Python proxy server is an application that acts as an intermediary between clients and the internet. It intercepts requests from clients, forwards them to the target servers, and sends a response back to the client. This helps mask the client's identity and can be useful for caching, performance improvements, and security. How to implement an HTTP proxy server in Python. Follow these steps to build a Python proxy server. Step one, initialize your Python project. Before getting started, make sure you have Python 3 Plus installed on your machine. If not, download and install it. Then create a project folder and initialize a Python virtual environment. Open the project folder in your Python IDE and create an empty proxyserver.py file. Step two, initialize an incoming socket. First, create a WebSocket server to accept incoming requests. Use this following code to set up the server. This code initializes an incoming socket server and binds it to the local address. Step three, accept client requests. To handle multiple client requests simultaneously, use multi-threading. This code listens for incoming requests and creates a new thread to handle each client request. Step four, process the incoming requests. Define this function to read data from incoming requests and extract the target server's host and port. Since you do not know the size of the incoming request data, you have to read it one chunk at a time. In this case, a chunk of 1024 bytes has been specified. In non-blocking mode, if this does not find any data, it will raise an error exception. Thus, the accept instruction marks the end of the operation. Note the logged messages to keep track of what the Python proxy server is doing. After retrieving the incoming request, you need to extract the destination server's host and port from it. Step five, forward the client request and handle the response. Create a new socket to connect the destination server and forward the client request. You need to work one chunk at a time as you do not know the size of the response. When data is empty, there is no more data to receive and you can terminate the operation. Do not forget to close the two sockets you defined in the function. Awesome, you just created an HTTP proxy server in Python. Time to see the entire code. Launch it and verify that it works as expected. Step six, put it all together. Here's the final code for your Python proxy server script. You should see the following message in the terminal. To make sure that the server works, Execute a proxy request with curl. Read our guide to learn more about how to use curl with a proxy. You can find it in the description box below. Open a new terminal and run the following. You should get something like this. Congrats, you just learned how to build an HTTP proxy server in Python. If you're thinking about using a custom Python proxy server, here are some pros and cons to consider. Pros, first off, total control. With a custom script, you control everything your proxy server does, so no worries about shady activities or data leaks. Plus, you can customize it with cool features like logging and caching to improve performance. Cons? On the flip side, there are some downsides. Infrastructure costs can be high, whether you're buying hardware or using VPS services. Maintenance is another biggie. You'll need to keep the server running smoothly, which usually requires an experienced system admin. And finally, it can be unreliable because the proxy's IP address stays the same. This makes it easy for anti-bot systems to block your IP, eventually stopping your proxy from working. So, while a custom Python proxy server gives you control and flexibility, it also comes with significant costs and maintenance challenges. Conclusion. In this tutorial, you learn how to build an HTTP proxy server in Python. While this custom proxy server gives you total control, it has limitations like static IPs that can be blocked. For a more reliable solution, consider using BrightData's proxy services, which offer a wide range of proxy types and advanced features for efficient and anonymous data collection. Explore BrightData's data center proxies, residential proxies, ISP proxies, and mobile proxies to find the perfect fit for your needs. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Until next time, happy coding.